And the companion story is this. United Health Group's third quarter profit beats estimates. This is how capitalism works in America under crony socialism. The people at United Health Group are making millions of dollars because of their croniest association with Obama. And a little Tennessee school district has to close because it can't afford it. But a massive health insurer is increasing. This is crony. What this is is cronyism. This is not capitalism. These insurance companies have thrown in with Obama rather than face his wrath and oppose him as they would normally naturally do on the basis of issues and ideas. No insurance company would get anywhere near this. Obama knows that. So he makes side deals with them, guaranteeing them customers by this mandate. So the insurance companies say, hell's bells. We can't lose. The government is making people buy our product. Except the cronyism leads to costs and expenses that a little school district here in Tennessee can't afford, so they shut down. And there's a story today, a second similar situation has happened. And now two additional Obamacare co-ops have closed in two different states. You see anything about this on the news? That's what the news is supposed to tell you, stuff like this, but you won't see this on the news. But I've got it here. So enrollment... Increases are marginal, which means there's less and less money going into the system. The cronyism of the insurance companies with Obama, and it's not just the insurance company, hospitals too, but it's not just health care. It's green energy and any number of other companies like GE. There's all kinds of cronyism going on, and they're all making out like bandits. And it's not capitalism. If anything, it's crony socialism or crony fascism in a sense maybe, but it certainly is not capitalism. So a little school district in Tennessee closes. They can't afford Obamacare. Insurance companies just scoring like bandits. And two Obama co-ops closed because there aren't any enrollees. There are not enough enrollees to sustain.